expert perspectives in MBC, or Surdu Patient Benefits and Efficacy. Sarah Nunnery, MD, MSCI, Director of Breast Cancer Research, Tennessee Oncology, Nashville, Tennessee. Indication. Or Surdu Elicestrant is indicated for the treatment of postmenopausal women or adult men with estrogen receptor ER positive human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, HER2 negative, ESR1 mutated advanced or metastatic breast cancer with disease progression, following at least one line of endocrine therapy. Important safety information, warnings and precautions. Dyslipidemia. Hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia occurred in patients taking Orsurdu at an incidence of 30% and 27%, respectively. The incidence of grade 3 and 4 hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia were 0.9% and 2.2%, respectively. Monitor lipid profile prior to starting and periodically while taking Orsurdu. Full important safety information will follow this video. Which patients can expect to see a benefit with Orsurdu? I have found that patients um, do very well on Orsurdu. I tend to think of endocrine-sensitive patients as ones who um, respond for 12 months or more on first-line endocrine therapy with the CDK4-6 inhibitor. These patients tend to have longer PFS on second-line therapy with Orsurdu as well. Drugs like Orsurdu that are able to target more resistant endocrine receptors um, are an exciting option and certainly an area that we need to keep exploring for these patients. Robust Efficacy Expectations with Orsurdu The efficacy of Orsurdu is significant and impressive for patients with an ESR1 mutation and helps drive my second-line treatment decision. In the Emerald trial, Orsurdu doubled the median progression-free survival for patients with ESR1 mutations, 3.8 months with Orsurdu versus 1.9 months with standard-of-care endocrine therapy. This efficacy and doubling of the progression-free survival is an important consideration for me and my patients progressing to the second line with an ESR1 mutation. Also in a post hoc analysis, patients who are on a prior endocrine therapy and CDK4-6 inhibitor for at least 12 months saw a median progression-free survival of 8.6 months compared to 1.9 months with standard of care endocrine therapy. I'm comfortable using Orsurdu as monotherapy in the second line given the efficacy Orsurdu provides my ESR1 mutated ER positive metastatic breast cancer patients. Orsurdu efficacy in various patient subgroups. The SABCS 2023 subgroup data from the post hoc analysis showed efficacy for ESR1 mutated ER positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer patients previously treated with 12 months or more of CDK4-6 inhibitor across various subgroups. I feel comfortable choosing Orsurdu for patients with liver and lung mets, patients with HER2 low disease, and patients who express both an ESR1 and PIK3CA mutation. When treating patients that have co both mutations and the PIK3CA pathway and ESR1 mutations, it really comes down to a discussion with the patient. I think having Orsurdu being a monotherapy daily medication is very appealing to a lot of patients. So it certainly comes down to the patient's goals. My approach and what I recommend doing is, is discussing with your patients in terms of their goals um, and what treatments they feel comfortable with in the second line. It can end up being the preferred option for a lot of patients. So it's something that I always Always discuss with them. There are warnings and precautions with Orsurdu, such as dyslipidemia and embryo fetal toxicity. Serious adverse reactions occurred in 12% of patients who were treated with Orsurdu. The main adverse reactions seen were nausea and musculoskeletal pain. Indication Orsurdu Elicestrant is indicated for the treatment of postmenopausal women or adult men with estrogen receptor ER positive, human epidermal growth factor receptor 2. HER2 negative, ESR1 mutated advanced or metastatic breast cancer with disease progression, following at least one line of endocrine therapy. Important safety information. Warnings and precautions. Dyslipidemia. Hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia occurred in patients taking Orsurdu at an incidence of 30% and 27% respectively. The incidence of grade 3 and 4 hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia were 0.9% and 2.2% respectively. Monitor lipid profile prior to starting and periodically while taking or surdu. Embryo fetal toxicity. Based on findings in animals and its mechanism of action, 
or SIRDU can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman. Advise pregnant women and females of reproductive potential of the potential risk to a fetus. Advise females of reproductive potential to use effective contraception during treatment with Orsurdu and for one week after the last dose. Advise male patients with female partners of reproductive potential to use effective contraception during treatment with Orsurdu and for one week after the last dose. Adverse reactions. Serious adverse reactions occurred in 12% of patients who received Orsurdu. Serious adverse reactions in greater than 1% of patients who received Orsurdu were musculoskeletal pain, 1.7%, and nausea, 1.3%. Fatal adverse reactions occurred in 1.7% of patients who received Orsurdu, including cardiac arrest, septic shock, diverticulitis, and unknown cause, one patient each. The most common adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 10%, including laboratory abnormalities of Orsurdu, were musculoskeletal pain, 41%, nausea, 35%, increased cholesterol, 30%, increased AST, 29%, increased triglycerides, 27%, fatigue, 26%, decreased hemoglobin, 26%, vomiting, 19%, increased ALT, 17%, decreased sodium, 16%, increased creatinine, 16%, decreased appetite, 15%, diarrhea, 13%, headache, 12%, constipation, 12%, abdominal pain, 11%, hot flush, 11%, and dyspepsia, 10%. Drug interactions. Concomitant use with CYP3A4 inducers and or inhibitors. Avoid concomitant use of strong or moderate CYP3A4 inhibitors with or SIRDU. Avoid concomitant use of strong or moderate CYP3A4 inducers with or SIRDU. Use in specific populations. Lactation. Advise lactating women to not breastfeed during treatment with or SIRDU and for one week after the last dose. Hepatic impairment. Avoid use of Orsurdu in patients with severe hepatic impairment, child PUC. Reduce the dose of Orsurdu in patients with moderate hepatic impairment, child PUB. The safety and effectiveness of Orsurdu in pediatric patients have not been established. Orsurdu is available as 345 mg tablets and 86 mg tablets. To report suspected adverse reactions, contact Stemline Therapeutics Incorporated at 1-877-332-7961 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or www.fda.gov medwatch. Please see full prescribing information including patient information.